let me show you some crazy AI powered effects that you can use directly inside of your video editing software. Let's jump on in. I'm talking about Boris Effects, a goldmine for all of your post-production needs. They've got everything from transition to restorative effects that can fix bad footage and bad audio, even their own particle engine that can produce things like this. Now don't worry, I'm not going to go over all of Boris FX products. Today I'm here to review the 2024 update, which includes a bunch of new AI features that I find really useful, starting with Continuum's 2024 update. Continuum is their all-in-one toolkit for content creators, including over 300 effects and transitions. But for today, let's take a look at what's new in Upres and Denoise. Here I have this clip in Premiere Pro, and when it's zoomed out, it doesn't look that bad. But if we zoom in, you can see that there is a lot of noise. In the effects tab here, let's search for BCC, and you'll see that there's a ton of Boris FX tools. If you look for Denoise, you'll find the BCC plus Denoise ML effect. And ML stands for machine learning, which you probably commonly know as AI. So let's go ahead and drag and drop this to this noisy video clip. If we zoom in, you'll see that all of the noise just disappears. You can see in the side by side how well the AI is working to remove that noise. On the effect itself, you have a few options. You can choose if you're trying to get rid of the compression noise or the camera noise. And you can also blend this effect with the original footage in case the denoiser is a little too strong. And if you have multiple footages with the same type of noise, you can apply this effect to an adjustment layer to get rid of all the noise at once. Here's another example of an underexposed shot. If we zoom in, we can see there is a lot of noise. Let's apply the denoise effect and bam, look at the difference. Now the result is pretty incredible, but the only downside is that it can slow down your computer by a lot. This is why I recommend you render and replace the footage with the denoise applied to keep a smooth editing experience. And next up is the Upres ML effect, which aims to upscale your video to a higher quality or a higher resolution while maintaining all of the details. So you can easily turn in your 720p or 1080p footage into 4K and it will still look nice and sharp. Now this effect is currently only available for After Effects, but it will be coming to Premiere Pro soon. So here inside of After Effects, look for BCC Upres ML in the Effects tab. And I'm going to apply it to this disgusting 720p video. Ew. Now by default, Upres will scale to 200%. So that means I can go up to Composition Settings and make this comp 1080p. Under the upres effect, let's hit allow resizing. Now overall, it looks pretty good, especially if I compare this to scaling up the footage without the upres effects, it was way more blurry. To make it even more obvious, if we zoom in, you can see that just normally scaling in just blurs the footage and pixelates it, while the machine learning, the AI, makes the video higher res while still making it sharp. Though that doesn't mean the machine learning is perfect. If you look closely here, you can see that the face looks a little bit too smooth. To fix this, you can bump up the sharpness to help. And if you look at the details far away, especially text, you can see where the AI is struggling. But without nitpicking too much, I mean, if we showed this to somebody, they probably would have never have known that this used to be a lower resolution, right? Just don't scale it up too much or your footage will turn into an AI art piece. All that said, I'm super excited that Boris FX has now packed in powerful AI into these effects. So I can now up res and denoise my clips directly inside my video editing apps without having to leave. And by the way, my name is Kelsey, and if you're looking to improve your video editing skills, my friend, you are in the right place. And if you haven't heard, I've designed my very own editing slim wireless keyboard with all the shortcuts for Premiere Pro. And the best part is it's a hybrid design for both Windows and Apple computers. And it has three levels of backlighting. There are versions for both US English and UK English. You can go to premiergal.com slash keyboard to go check it out. All right, now into some AI audio effects. Next in the Boris FX catalog is Crumple Pop, 
which is a tool that me and my team have been using on my audio to improve it over the past year. Crumple Pop is essentially a collection of AI powered audio effects that you can apply to bad audio to help it sound more professional. And with their 2024 update, they claim to improve the quality of their restorative effects, but we gotta hear it to believe it. So let's test it. Here inside of Premiere, I have this recording of me in a very echoey room. In today's video, you're going to learn how to go from video editor, but this is no biggie. Let's go and grab the Crumple Pops Echo Remover from the effects tab and check this out. In today's video, you're going to learn how to go from video editor. It already sounds great. In effect controls under echo remover, hit edit, and here a separate window will pop up with only a few knobs. You can use the bottom three knobs to adjust the sound to your liking. But honestly, this big strength knob right here is all you need to start. This affects how much echo remover is being applied to your audio. So here we can lower it just a bit to bring in some of the original sound and I think we're good to go. In today's video, you're going to learn how to go from video editor. Well, you might be like Gal, in the central sound panel in Premiere Pro, which is built in, it includes a reverb remover, which is essentially an echo remover. Let me show you the difference. In today's video, you're going to learn how to go from video editor. In today's video, you're going to learn how to go from video editor. So after listening back, you can hear that the Crumple Pop Echo Remover just works a lot better. The reverb remover just doesn't have the same quality. Now we've got a lot more effects to try and they're all just as easy to use. Let's try out the clip remover. So clipping is when you record your audio too loud and it starts to get distorted. And normally it's super painful to listen to. Like for example, like this, when I'm talking way too loud. But what if we apply this clip remover? Like for example, like this, when I'm talking way too loud. Much better. Let's test some more of these effects. Let's try the traffic remover. Dizzle emissions can also contain corrosive gases such as sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide. Nice. And I'm sure those sound people that have to do on location shoots are going to love this traffic remover. And what about removing wind noise? You're obviously going to be opening ourselves up to a lot more type of uh, noise. As you can see, Crumple Pop's audio tools can really fix specific issues that you have with your audio, and they all work like magic. Other than fixing audio problems, they also have Level Matic, which is an effect that helps level and make all of your audio consistent throughout, so that way you don't have super loud parts and super quiet parts. It just makes it all consistent. And I personally always apply this effect to my audio track so that way viewers have a consistent playback where it's not too quiet or too loud. And now you know my secret sauce. So Particle Illusion is a particle generator that's super fast and easy to use and a great introduction for newcomers into the world of 3D particles. And it comes as a continuum effect that you can use in Premiere Pro or After Effects, but there's also a standalone app. And with the 2024 update, they added a new AI text image generation to the mix. But before we get there, let's take a step back to even see what Particle Illusion can do. So here I have the standalone app opened up here. And on the left, you can try out a bunch of their presets to see what Particle Illusion is capable of. And what I love the most is the smooth playback because when you're working with something like this, you want to be able to see your results fast. Now at first glance, it might be a little bit intimidating. So let me do a quick demo here so it can give you a better understanding of how it works. Jumping into Premiere Pro here, I made a text layer here writing out my channel name. And the plan here is to turn it into dust. Let's start by nesting this text layer and you'll see why later. Now we can add the BCC particle illusion effect to the nest. Under effect controls here, let's click launch particle illusion and it will open up a separate app. Here I can see my text in the preview screen. Let's start with a new preset. How about logo burst? Let's double click to apply it. Then we need to expand the particle boundaries to cover all of our text. Hit this button on the top and choose composite over black to see just the particles. If we hit play, now the particles will explode. To stop this madness, make sure the particle node is selected and on the properties panel, turn down velocity and weight to zero so our particles stay still. Then keyframe the number of particles by clicking the box next to the numbers and change it to linear. I want to create a bunch of particles only on the first frame and have the numbers go down to zero on the next frame. Now all the dots will finally stay still, but not for long because now I'm going to add force, resize and keyframe its position to have it come from the side. Let's bump up the strength 
edge softness and direction turbulence to give it some randomness. Let's hit play. This is looking pretty good, but what if we want the particles to be something more than just a dot? On the last node here, double click on this black and white circle and it will open up the particle shape editor. Here, you already have plenty of presets to choose from. I can make my logo turn into some snow, flowers, or whatever this is. But what about the generate button? That's right, this is where you can generate your own textures with the power of AI. To get this working, you're going to need an account with dreamstudio.ai, which is very quick to set up. Here, I can write in a prompt of what I want, I can choose how many images you want AI to create, and then hit generate. The cool part is, is if you're trying out multiple prompts, it keeps a history here so you can always go back and check out your previous generations. And once you find the one that you like, you can hit import. And if the photo has a black background, for example, you can use alpha from Luma to get rid of the background. Then you can hit apply. And now all of my particles will have a new look. So now we can hit apply below to close the app and jump back into Premiere Pro here to see our new animation in action. If you wanna change the text or the logo, you can just go into the nest, switch it up back in the main sequence, launch particle illusion again to reapply the effects and bam, you're done. Now, Particle Illusion 2024 has a lot of new features, including a new 3D line creation. But as you can see, there is just too much in Particle Illusion to cover in this video. So if you want some more content around Particle Illusion and what it can do, be sure to leave a comment below to let me know. If any of these Boris FX tools interest you, you can use my link below to get 15% off. And if you want to learn more about AI video, you can click right over here. And over here, you can click to join our Discord. Thanks so much for watching. Stay creative. And as always, keep creating better video with Gap. See you next time. Bye.